Hello dear F2s, the time has come for us to practice some new words for our spelling block. Here they are. Now remember, the way we start reading is to sound out all the letters that we have in a word and then blend them together and listen carefully if we can recognize what the word is. So let's do that for our first word. R, A, N, R, N, RUN. Now, I guess it means when you move fast and here it is. Yes, it is the word RUN. The next word is here. S, A, N, S, A, N. It's that big shiny thing up in the sky? Yes, it is. It's the sun. The following word begins with the sound F. F, A, N, An, Fun. It's a situation in which you're having a great time with your friends or with your family or with your toys. That is when you're having Fun. The next word is here. It starts with curly k. K a t. K a t. Cut. Now it's that time when you take scissors or a knife and you do snip it. Cut. The last word that we're going to read and write is the one that I'm going to write for you here. It starts with no, a, and the last sound is t. A, t, a, t, hat. Now the meaning of this word is a small and simple house, usually made out of wood. It can have a straw roof and you can see it on a beach or in a village. It's called a hut. Now that we know what all of these words mean, we can move on to our spelling blog here. Here is our spelling words. Practice worksheet, and we can do the same here. Remember, on this worksheet, you have the words on your left, and then you have columns for you to fill in on each day of the week. So, of course, you're going to start with Monday. You do the same thing all over again. When you read, first sound out and blend all the sounds together. Then read the whole word, cover it, write it, and then check if you did a good job or not. So let's start. R -an, r -an, run. Now it's time to cover, but then think hard to remember what the word is. Say it to yourself, run, and then think of the sounds in it. R -an. That's what you need to write. R a N. When you finish writing, you need to check if this word matches this one, and I think I did a good job there. So now we can move on to the next word, which is S -a -n. S -a -n. sun. The word is sun. We can cover it and then think about it. Sun has three sounds. S -a -n. So that's what we write. S, A, N, Sun. Now it's time to do the checking. Sun, Sun. All right, we can move on. The next one is S, A, N, Fun. Now we can cover it. Think about the word Fun. You must have three sounds. Those are F, A, 
N. Fun. It's correct. So I can move on to the next word, which is k a t. K a t. Cut. Now I can cover it. Think about it. It's cut. It has k at the beginning, a in the middle, n in the end. So I'm going to write my k a. I think I did it right, but now I need to do the checking. It turns out I did make a mistake because my curly k is actually facing completely wrong way. So never mind, we can always fix a mistake. So what you need to do is erase it and then write it all over again. If you're not sure how to write the letter, then do your finger writing. And then go back to your writing. Curly K goes to the left. Now, I think I did a quite good job correcting my mistake. I can move on to the next word, which is hut. Hut. It's a small house. Now let's cover it and try to remember the word. It is hot. Hot. H. A. T. When you finish writing, of course, you need to check if it's correct or not. When you see that everything is fine, that's when you finish your job. Of course, once you finish Monday, you put your worksheet away, but tomorrow morning you can start practicing again. Now this time it's quite difficult for you to cover both words with your hands, so you can use a little booklet, cover it, read, sound out, read, cover, write the word, and then check. You keep on doing that on Tuesday, when Tuesday is finished, you will do your practice on Wednesday like that, Thursday like that, and for Friday. I'm afraid you need to put your book like this to cover all these words and do your practice there. Okay, have fun and see you next time!